As I stepped into the echoes of Deadwood Historic District, the air was alive with the whispers of the past. The streets, once trodden by outlaws and lawmen alike, now hummed with the gentle chatter of tourists and the soft clinking of souvenir cameras. But amidst the modern-day bustle, I felt an almost palpable sense of foreboding, as if the town itself was warning me to tread carefully. I wandered through the historic district, my footsteps echoing off the crumbling buildings. Every step revealed a new tale of trial and triumph, of greed and glory, of redemption and regret. The faded signs creaked in the wind, bearing witness to the trials that had shaped this unforgiving landscape. As I pushed open the door to Saloon No. 10, a bell above it let out a mournful clang, summoning forth the echoes of a bygone era. Inside, the air was thick with the scent of whiskey and smoke, the very essence of the Wild West. I imagined the raucous laughter, the shouted deals, and the desperate gambles that had played out within these walls over a century ago. My journey next took me to the mercantile store of Seth Bullock, where the entrepreneurial spirit that had driven men to risk everything in pursuit of the American dream was on full display. The dusty relic stood sentinel, a testament to the power of perseverance and determination. But as I delved deeper into the town's history, I began to sense a deeper narrative, at play one that spoke to something far more profound. For in Deadwood, the line between heroism and villainy was often blurred, leaving us with a town that was as much a product of its own mythology as it was of its people. As dusk began to fall, casting an otherworldly glow over the landscape, I stood before the iconic Mount Moriah Cemetery, the final resting place of Wild Bill Hickok. The gravestone, weathered by time and wind, seemed to hold its own secrets within its worn inscription. I felt a shiver run down my spine as I realized that even in death, the spirits of Deadwood's most infamous residents still lingered. As I left the historic district behind, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the town's continued allure. The Wild West was alive and well, its pulse beating strong and free, and I knew that no matter how many years passed, Deadwood would forever remain a place where legends come alive, where history is written anew with every step. I made my way to the nearby Deadwood Creek where the gentle flow of water seemed to wash away the dust of time. The sun had set over the horizon, casting a golden glow over the landscape. As I stood there, the wind rustling my hair, I felt the echoes of the past merge with the present, a symphony of sounds that would stay with me forever. In this moment, I knew that I had truly experienced the magic of Deadwood. The town had left an indelible mark on my soul, its stories and legends forever etched in my memory. As I rode away from the historic district, I felt the thrill of adventure coursing through my veins, a sense of wonder that would stay with me long after I left this wild west wonderland behind. The stars were beginning to twinkle in the night sky as I rode back into town. The silence was almost palpable broken only by the sound of my horse's hooves on the dusty road. I knew that I had truly experienced something special, a place where the boundaries between past and present blurred, and the spirit of adventure still pulsed strong. As I approached the outskirts of town, the lights of the historic district flickered to life, beckoning me back into its enchanting world. But I knew that I would not be returning for in Deadwood. I had discovered a piece of myself a sense of wonder and awe that would stay with me forever. The ride was done, but the memories lingered on a testament to the enduring allure of this wild west wonderland. And as I rode away into the night, I knew that I would carry the echoes of Deadwood with me for the rest of my days 